Hello, and welcome to Digging Up the Baseball Field. Just kidding. We're working over here. Okay, so today we're working on installing a slide rail system. I'm going to show you and talk about how we're going to install this. There's going to be a lot that's missing from this video because I had to cut out a lot of the interactions between me and the ground guys because there was a lot of time just discussing how it goes in. This is our first time really installing it as a crew. I have some experience with it and my ground man there, Hector, has some experience putting it in as well so we both have some different ideas. And there were some discussions that went back and forth on the right way to do it. But I'll explain how things go in and we'll get things figured out together, all right? As you can see, we've already installed the first corner and two panels. This was done yesterday, so I didn't have my cameras and this is where we're starting off. So we've got the two panels in, we kind of put them in, but we thought it was 90 degrees, we're checking. Now we're gonna put this post in and then they're going to take good, some measurements good, good, good. and we'll see where we're at. So I'll let you watch and see how it goes. So at this point, Andy's taking a measurement to figure out the length of the wall, and he's going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out how long he should be on the cross angle to make sure that we're square. That's probably going to be long. If we need to pull the post back out and if pull that, to pull the post back. yeah, we got to pull that panel back this way. No. Well, no, that takes. Pull this out. Pull it out. Well, I can dig some. I dig. I dig a little bit out on the front side, then I can pull it. So at this point, I want to let you guys know, if you have any questions during the video, pause the video and write the question down in the comments below. That way you won't forget at the end of the video. All right, so now that I got the wall pulled in, I'm going to bash on the top of this. It's going to do a couple things. It's going to set the wall so it won't move again. And then also, I can use the wall on one side or the other to straighten the pillar because the pillar is not set deep in the ground. It's just being held up by the two panels.
Anybody want to get me level? Good. Hey, watch out, it's gonna slide. Now this is a major issue. What I just said about the panels sliding, whether it's a, any other machine moving these panels around and setting them on top of each other, these things will just shoot off the top of each other and it's very important that you stay clear of these things. They are thousands of pounds and they will take you out. Hey, you need to spin it? We gotta make the chain shorter. Okay, chain. sun's exactly where that frickin' post is. As I'm sure some of you have already figured out, that sun was gonna wind up being a problem, and now it's a real problem. So at this point, I've gotta rely on Andy's hand signals to get this done. trying to see. So if you're wondering, we're putting in this left pylon or pillar in first because we know that that wall is not moving. It is a fixed wall. So the other two walls, the existing one on the right and the one that's going to be right where Hector is standing, those two will be able to adjust and move to fit the last pillar. There we go. I'm going to push it. Take that strap off. Take the tagline off. I'll push it once I set it down, Hector. Yeah.
So at this point, we're just fixing the corners or adjusting them so that it'll fit that pylon right between those two corners perfectly and we won't have to be jiggling and trying to move stuff around, but we may screw it up a little bit and you may have to move a little bit more and make some small adjustments to get that last pillar in place. So for this final little bit, I'm going to beat the walls down to the elevations in which we're going to backfill this area to. So there's only going to be 18 inches of this wall sticking up out of the ground. That way we can walk around it. We're also going to put some railing around it as well to keep the hole safe. Hey monkeys, if you made it to the end of the video, thanks for hanging out and watching the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed it. This is only part one. There's going to be a part two, maybe a part three of digging down and installing the lift station for the sewer. So I want to say thanks for watching and make sure if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe down below. If this is something that you like, you want to see more of, put some comments down below, say thanks, or just whatever you can throw me a thumbs up in the comments below that helps me get my videos out to more people so as always keep your butt level and your ditch straight